Well, the trial of two Colorado police officers charged in the death of Elisha McLean is now underway. The 23-year-old black man died after an encounter with authorities while walking home from a store four years ago. The local prosecutor initially declined to bring charges, but then the governor stepped in. ABC's Alex Stone has the latest now from L.A. and trial attorney Brian Buckmeyer is with us as well to break things down. Alex, jurors uh, hearing evidence and testimony today. What are the arguments being made on both sides? going right now and today it has been primarily forensic uh, video and audio forensic experts talking about that body worn camera video that was seen around the world of Elijah McClain being stopped by Aurora Colorado police they tell him to stop he says I'm an introvert please don't touch me this video right here they end up taking him down and he screams I can't breathe I can't breathe then he is eventually put into a carotid hold and then is injected with ketamine. Now, the, eventually, the, the jurors will see this video. Right now, they are setting it up. We know from opening statements that prosecutors are making the argument that the two officers that are on trial in this case, Randy Rodima and Jason Rosenblatt, manslaughter, criminally negligent homicide, second-degree assault are the charges that they are facing. Two of the three police officers, there will be a third who will go on trial, and then paramedics who will go on trial, very similar charges to these. Prosecutors say that they did not execute their duties, that, that they were there to serve, that they did not serve, they did not follow policy, and that what they did led to the death of McLean. Although we know defense attorneys are gonna say no, this came down to the ketamine that was introduced into McLean's body, that that is how he died. That came from the paramedics, not from these police officers. They're not saying that what went on was uh, good or by policy, but their argument is gonna be in that autopsy that was amended that you spoke about, that it came down to the ketamine and that those officers did not inject that ketamine. Well, Brian, let's talk about the amount of ketamine and why it's a crucial element in this trial. Yeah, so if we think about it from a standpoint of how big was Elijah McClain, and from what we understand, he was 5'7 and 140 pounds. But the amount of ketamine that was put into his system was enough to kill a person that was 190 pounds. That's a lot. That's a big difference from his size. And so the administration of that ketamine will be a big point of contention in this case. And like Alex was saying, we're going to see a lot of pointing of the fingers, the 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 defense here is saying no, it was the other officer or it was the paramedics. It wasn't us who committed this uh, heinous death. So, Brian, it's important to note that there was a second autopsy report that amended the manner of death, right, as undetermined. So how will the defense use this to argue their case? And how often does an amended autopsy occur in a situation like this? So it's not just that they were amended, it's when the amendment happened. Uh, the defense is going to argue that there might be some sort of political bias here, that during the summer of unrest, uh, during the death of George Floyd, that's when this case was re-examined and we got a new outcome. Now, manner of death, there are five different types of manner of death. There is homicide, accident, natural, suicide, and undetermined. Undetermined simply means that there might be two or more types of manners that the the medical examiner can't determine which one it is, or there's just not enough information to, to figure out which one it is. I think for the prosecution, they have a very good argument as that to, it's not the others. It's not a, a homicide, it's not accidental, it's not natural, so it's gotta be one of the two. Homicide, meaning death by another, or undetermined. And I think they could be pressed, they being the ME, and saying, why is this not a homicide? We can clearly see with our own eyes what happened in the video here. Why didn't you pick the right one, the right one being homicide? I think the defense will make some kind of argument pushing back on that, but I don't think it's the strongest of arguments here. Alex, Brian, thank you both so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.